In today's episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, I become a holiday tour guide. Have a little walk in the radiation. A lovely day. Find an ancient pirate city from olden times. It's a regular frickin' Tortuga, okay? And finally remember to repair my armor. Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Breaking Bad. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You join me as I um, attack this Arrestrum asteroid because, uh, well, all the manufacturing of all the ammunition for the base, you know, the missiles, stuff like that, they all take Arrestrum. So our Arrestrum stores are running a bit low. Uh, fortunately, everything else apart from wood is uh, looking reasonably healthy for the time being. Although I do want to set up an auto miner network at some point just for every resource so that we can... Um, I can sort of spend an hour before I log on each day, or, or you know, as after I log on each day, uh, going around the auto miners and gathering all the stuff. It's boring, it's very monotonous, but that is what we got to do. There is the orbital auto miners here on the Broken Eden server, so we can type AM question mark. I think I showed this the last series, and you essentially you buy auto miners for each type of resource up, up to a certain. I think you can go up to a restaurant symposium after that. Nothing else can be auto mined. Um, so I don't think you can auto mine Pentaxid and stuff like that. So each level of auto miner ha can be bought with money and they need to be fueled with drill charges. And uh, yeah, and then you just run a command connected to your container wherever you are and you can you can empty them. They follow you about. They're quite good. They're convenient for those of you like, you know, don't maybe have don't like having auto miner networks or don't like going around and spending that time and stuff like that. You can do that and it's a good way of getting some resources. They're not quite as powerful as the actual auto miners and stuff but the great thing is they run and run and run and run as long as they've got drill charges in them so that's an option okay so we've got some arrest room here what have we got we got uh harvest 2300 not not a great amount um i don't think well there's there's an arrest room asteroid here but I, I don't think there's any more than just the one there might be but it's highly unlikely and there doesn't appear to be any on the planets in this system either. Oh, hang on. No, ice. What is that? Ice. Ice, baby. An undiscovered asteroid field. See, the asteroid fields are potential because you can't scan everything. So you have to go there and find out if there is actually... Hang on. There's um, ice, uh, a restroom deposit on this frozen inferno planet. 0.94 Gs. Wait, really? No, there isn't. Sorry. It, it's a lie. My mouse was just off of that after clicking on... Oh, wait, the moon. It's the moon. It was the moon. The moon. Moon. That moon over there. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Mystery solved. It's very finicky when you're scanning for resources on the map there. The moon has a restroom deposits on it. Let's go get those. Um, I'd like to fill my restroom de like count up a little bit more. And then the next task is get some wood. Because the reason I'm getting all these resources is because we're very, 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 very close now to getting our new boat in. Are there any planets here that have trees on them? I don't think there is. Deads and the frozen and the ice planet. The ice planet almost certainly doesn't. So we need we need to go to a temperate planet next. Let's try this F5 here. Do you have temperate? You don't know. We haven't discovered you. Um, G4? Uh, you have a jungle moon. I mean, that'll do. That's going to have trees on it, isn't it? Right. Jungle moon, you have been chosen. Um, cool. So we'll go to that G4 next. We get some more restroom here. Yeah. Um, our new boat has everything. We have everything apart from the restroom, which I have in base. In fairness, I could actually, you know, meet that, but then I would be totally out of the restroom. So, well, okay, I'll go get the restroom first and then we'll get the new boat in. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, the humans and the aliens we had from all the um, the Polaris ships that we've been wrecking, the up advanced upgrade kits from all the stuff that we've been de deconstructing, all that gold has enabled me to get the bridges and matrices in. I had the platinum already as well. And the hydroponic units, I'm not sure. I think they're just in the factory. They're not actually part of the... Yeah, because look, zero. I don't know why that's listed. Although I will need some hydroponic units as well because it's just truss blocks in the way at the moment. I need to fill them in. We can do that 
a later time. Let's get to this moon. Let's get some restroom. Let's get some wood. And then let's get our new boat in. And I can show you around. I think we're going to have to look somewhere else for our restroom. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little heavily defended. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. I found this jungle planet has both a restroom and, you know, wood. So, although it's a very small restroom deposit. So, you know. It'd be better if we could find more asteroids of it. But they're pretty rare, I think. The restroom asteroids. So, I'll get this and I'll dig some wood. There's one more thing I want to show you as well. This is an irradiated planet. And this is the biome I'm looking for. This biome is called the Dead Forest. And irradiated planets are particularly special. If you find one, it's worth going, going to get them. Because in the Dead Forest biome here, I'm going to go for a walk. It's pretty radiated outside. So make sure you get yourself plenty of radiation protection. We're up, good up to 17. Um, we're going to add a radiation boost to that, up it to 24, because it's reasonably temperate, so we don't need temperature protection. Now, the dead forest is great because it is absolutely covered in these guys. Biological specimens and medicinal growth but yes now like as many of you have pointed out to me several times you can grow or um, produce both medicinal growth and biological samples in the food processor but they're quite expensive and they take a lot of vegetables and a lot of other ingredients to make well if you do find a, a radiated planet it is worth just popping down for sort of 10 15 minutes or so have a little walk in the radiation a lovely day <laughs> and uh, go and pick some plants because holy moly there's a lot of them here Now, I know I said that I was going to um, bring in the new ship today, and <laughs> hopefully I will still be able to do that. But I've just found something in this asteroid field after mining a bunch of uh, a restroom, fighting off a bunch of bandits. There's still quite a few bandits, but I'm running out of artillery rounds, so... <laughs> I had to move on. 
I have found something called the Pirate City. It's a regular frickin' Tortuga, okay? We are going to investigate this Pirate City, which appears to be mounted on the side of an asteroid, from what I can tell. Oh, yes. This is not something I've ever seen before, and it is something that is... Oh, it's armed. Armed, but not shielded. So this is a, this is a potential possibility of potentialness. All right, you need to go away. First of all. All right, so we've got a couple more rocket turrets on here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, we've got a laser. Hang on. That needs to be uh, dealt with. You are a risk to my shields. Bye-bye. Now, everything else seems to have a, 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 a an inability to look up, so... Alright, lots of sentry guns. Level her out. Okay, I'm on top of the city, it would seem. Not underneath it. Hi. Goodbye. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright. Yeah, lots of guns. Lots of sentry guns and stuff. Shooting at me. You're in loads of different directions. Alright, I need to get to a position where... Okay, sentry guns I can deal with. If I... I if, can't expect the ship to just take missiles on, on the nose constantly, though, you know? Then the shields are probably going to struggle a little bit. There's three sentry guns there. And... There's one on the side of that platform as well. They're actually going to get my shields down if I'm not careful here. Alright. Um, I don't think I have an EVA on. So let's slip into an EVA. There we are. Alright, now, shields. Please hold. I deal with these sentry guns. Also, I need to be very careful here not to get shot. Because as soon as they see me... Yeah, ouch. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> wow. Yeah, that guy just ripped me apart with, like, two bullets. What were they? 30 mil auto can bullets. Righty. Right, where is it? There you are. Hey, hang on. Oh, whoa. There you are. They really like their sentry guns, don't they? You. more sentry gun all right pirate city it's cold out here isn't it you got a little garden with a sentry gun in the garden because you know props are valuable in space there's is that a ship docked i think so i'm going to need um either another eva boost or an insulation boost because it is cold old AF out there. Right. We've got an insulation on. No. Okay. That's fine. Let's put an insulation instead of jetpack because, you know, we don't need a jetpack. Let me just double check something in a second. Um, armor and boost. Uh, okay. So I have got an advanced. What happened to my advanced? Never mind. <laughs> I just put it on. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. Carry on as you were. La -da 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 -da. Okay. Why do we even begin with this thing? Okay, so there's a guard there. Gotcha. Just before I opened fire, I got it. Five. Five skulls. Is that my wanted level with the pirates? This guard, employee of the month. Of course, he is just a stack. Guard dog. And actually doesn't do anything. Right, harvest. Which is a shame, because, I mean, they should be basically like sentry guns, really, shouldn't they? Yeah. Took a shot there. Okay. I don't need to actually go down there. I was just being a sausage. Let's use the gravity. Thanks for the gravity. Let's investigate this place, then. What have you got for me today? What am I looting into? The harvest controller. Good. 
his Iraxians. Pain hooked. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Thank goodness for the DC-17's firepower there, because that could have been over very, very bloody quickly. That guy shot me like crazy. He's a freaking commander. Wow. Bitch. <laughs> Reminds me, should I start the revenge mission again? I think you can repeat it, right? You can just do revenge over and over and over again. Now that I've killed the commander, yeah, one of three, brilliant. Okay, well, you know, at least I remembered eventually. <laughs> I don't know, does that count? Maybe there's one in here as well. Okay, you're a vendor, so you don't need to kill you. This could be... He's a warehouse trader. This could be... When I, when, when I eventually get sort of neutral with the pirates again, um, this could be where I could come to trade stuff, the pirate city. Mmm. More traders. Fuck me dead! Jesus Christ! They were waiting for me, weren't they? <laughs> Assholes set up a freaking ambush. All we need to do, right, mate, is wait for him to open that door, and then we just fucking slaughter the bastard. <laughs> what a bunch of a-holes! Oh my god! How many of them were just pointing their guns at me just as I went through there? That's hilarious. Okay, well, um, what had, what had, had, had happened was... Uh, you're not going to get me a second time. Okay, you might get me a second time. But not a third time. There was two of them right on that spot. There you go. Okay, reload. That was a traitor, not an assassin droid. That's a soldier, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm here to take all your shit. I'm not here to, like, murder you all, okay? So, um, just stay calm. Don't be a hero. And we'll be fine. Or don't be a villain, I suppose, because you're all pirates anyway, aren't you? <laughs> Human. Oh, I'm going to eat that because I'm kind of hungry. Oh my, look at my, oh my, my armor. Oh, no wonder I'm dying so quickly. Another one somewhere. I'm hearing him. What you got? You're a spaceport. Military supply chief. Weapons, food. Over spare parts and others. Like, what did I say about getting in my face? Yeah, there's burgers and Dino Steel Royales. This man's got taste. Lovely. I can call this place. I want all these people. You shall join me! This goes nowhere. Let's look at all this potential crew. Now, he's a base, so unfortunately I can't guarantee that they'll come with me. But, you know, we can give them a chance. Join me or die! Uh, uh, everything will be fine. Alright, where else can we go in here then? That was the bottom of the elevator, wasn't it? Yes, okay. Another box there, hang on. That was a surprise. I think my ship just shot something. There is quite a lot of traders here. Are 
You just stand there while I shoot you in the head. No need to rush. <laughs> ah, barrels. Look at these freaking LCDs just floating in the middle of nowhere. Are, are fine, I suppose. Deconstructors. Furnaces. Loads of stuff. Love it. Alright, hang on. Go through here. Unit rentable. Oh, nope, not for very much. And then through here. Ah, the garden. I remember this. There's a sentry gun. Right there. And goes half the crops. Ah. Okay. So down or up the elevator? Down it is. Oh boy. What was that? Why couldn't I get out there? Okay, so these are like docking docks. Then we got got a ship docked to both. Pirate Hunter. <laughs> nice. Not a pirate hunter, a pirate hunter. See, there's a difference between a pirate hunter and a pirate hunter. You know? Am I making any sense? Because <laughs> you've got a pirate hunter, and then you've got a pirate. No, I'm stopping. I'll stop it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Such an ass. <laughs> okay, can't help myself. All right. Bridge. Cereals. Looted you already. So you are a medic. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You are disgusting. You're weak and your savior stuffs will be ours. What? Terrans are rare. Ooh, fetch a hope. Yeah, you're not bounty hunters, you're just idiots, alright? You like smack talking the guy pointing a gun at you. Like, what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. <Boo. laughs> Commander, one of three. Nice. Loot all your stuff. Dun dun dun. I do need to put a bunch of things in um, the fridge here before they go bad things like that cheese eggs root spice spoiled food now whoops food yeah there we go okay hello sentry gun where's a room oh back me Get through the wall. Get through the wall, mate. I did actually get him there. Like a fraction of his head is still visible. Loot. Sentry gun. Shit. Actually, I think we're good. Yeah, reload. Reload. All right. Through. Ah. Uh. Through. Ah. Uh. Through. Ah. Uh. Now we've got tunnels.
More pirate hunters. Well, they are definitely a equals opportunities employer, aren't they? Old pirates. They got Creel, Xerax, Humans, Alan. Let's get anyone and everyone looking for something else to do. Loot crate outside. I'm just gonna take a poo with a window right there. <laughs> Who would live in a place like this? Right. You ain't your giblets. You're not waiting to shoot me through the wall this time. Hello. Well, you're not supposed to be here, Mrs. UCH officer. You're a disgrace. Hang your head and shame. That's right. Bad UCH officer. So giblets. Okay. Well, that's this whole place. I think. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Uh, uh, next ship. Oh, there's something on the way. Ah, what the fuck? I'm sorry, what? How? But, 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 but how? But, uh, what? I don't bloody believe it. That fucker shot me through the wall. I don't know what got me how and where. Clearly a turret somewhere. Into lock code. I don't have a lock code. I have a gun that damages doors though. Nah. I was lucky. They decided not to shoot back today. Okay. I will take it. Very toasty in here. I thought the core would be in here, but... Um, they're not trying to access the pentaxid tank right now. I'm going to have to wait. No core. Blue box. Okay, well, that's make us the core then. Alright, airlock. Alright, now we've got to be real careful here because. Oh, well, I'm glad this thing works against people. Xerox. Oh, airlock. Docking bay. Well, so, you did just spam all the freaking things from the LCD list, didn't it? Spam it all! I haven't cleared all the guns off the bottom of this thing, right? And I'm about to walk on the bottom of this thing. So I'm just like, right, what is going to shoot me where? Like, there's a turret right there. Oh, piss. Where the hell was that? Wow, that kills me so fast. I really need to repair my armor. Not that repairing your armor gives you much anyway. In terms of protection, not with an EVA boost on, anyway. Right, where was that sentry gun that shot me then? Oh, it's right there, look. Oh my gosh! I think that was that turret up there. We got caught in the splash damage. 
All right, let's stop dicking around outside. Um, oh, great, more outside. Oh, hangar bay. Sentry guns. Keep a devil. Oh, I've got a load of stuff on me that needs to go in the fridge again. This got blasted open. Did I do that? <laughs> These look like. I think my ship just killed him. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my bad? Eh, who cares? and bombs. Oh, you're not going to need that anymore, are you? Right, so we just jetpack up there. Generator. Okay, so or isn't here then? <gasps> Ooh, bugger me. There's my guns. That's what keeps killing these guys. <laughs> okay. So this is a lower hangar hangar bay. We don't need to be here, right? Who wants to go here? Really? Friggin' really? What is that gun that keeps killing me? Not those guys, they're not looking in this direction. Not that guy, he's not looking in this direction. It's this guy here. This smug little smuggy smug face. Look at that. Direct. Well, it's not even direct. Look at that freaking needle. He is threading that so tight. My gosh. What an a-hole. Okay, I don't know where to go now. I don't know where the core is. I just need to get past that. Should be reasonably safe. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here, aren't I? No, I definitely missed something somewhere. What was going to be? Everything seemed to lead to this point, but I don't understand what. Um... What I'm missing. Hold the phone. A secret door. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been very bad. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, secret room. Okay. Lock code. What bloody lock code? That's a little... Yeah, no, I don't even have a lock code. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Wrong code. Rah! I haven't seen any codes anywhere. Oh my god, this has got to be it though, right? Alright, now we've got to find a code. Alright, screw this noise. Wow. Wow. Really? Thank you. Doesn't look very retreaty to me. That looks very... Ugh. Stupid stuns up. Ah, oh, no, I'm out of... I'm out of artillery rounds. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure if I've got anything to make any more. Everything's back at base. Can you make me more artillery rounds, please? Please. Oh, good lad. Right. All of us' shields are down. You're you're getting your shields down. Yeah, yeah come back here. Uh, 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 uh. Good job, Plazies. It's him. Do what? Um, just go for. Sorry, right, go go for the warp drive and generators. Yeah. Oh well. Well done, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Yeah, for this guy. Oh, I've got some some ammo. Hmm. Well, you know, it's some. Um... Night night. Bye bye. Anyway, it is time to pick this place lean. Starting with that smeggy flat cannon that kept killing me. Come here. There we have it. After that little adventure, these are this is the loot that we got here. Eh, not bad. Um got a fair bit of money cards for it. We managed to get one member of crew to join us off the entire station there. A few meds and some ingredients for the fridge and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's entirely worth the time and effort. Still, at least now I know where the core is, so any future pirate cities I come across, I can just go and blast that straight away. And we got a decent amount of components from all the turrets and the giblets from this thing. And, well, it's quite a fun build, really. I have no idea what that just shot, but... <laughs> There we are. Okay. Enough of the delaying, dilly-dallying and, and stuff. Let's get back to base. Let's show you my brand new ship that I'm going to be using going forward. And here she is. All of her finery and glory. The wait is finally over. My new boat is here. Finally. It is here. Now, some of you may recognize her. Some of you may not. She's undergone quite the significant facelift. An overhaul. She's lost some things. And she's gained some things. <laughs> also hovering right now, which is quite impressive. Uh, welcome to the Ventress A refit. This is the RF-02 Ventress. Old build of mine. Redone. Reforged. Re, uh, I don't know what else to say. Re, redone. Yeah, I've covered it really. Re, everything. <laughs> Good job, Spanish. Re, everything. Um, yeah, so I refit her basically with an updated nacelle layout and 
I'm hoping that she comes back down to earth right now. Don't. There we go. Just let her stand on her a bit. Weigh her down a bit. Um, so new new nacelle layout, and we'll, um, we'll have a look around the inside in a moment. The reason for the refit, really, was that the Ventress was, although it had four nacelles, quad nacelles set up, they were all advanced thrusters. And you can get so much more thrust and bang for your buck with drive thrusters. Well, the drive thrusters are 3x3, three three, where the advanced are 2x2. Two two. So uh, the drive thrusters required an entirely new layout for uh, the nacelles here. So I basically stripped the nacelle off and replaced it with a single nacelle either side. I had a bit of fun trying to figure out the best um, sort of position to connect them to. And this is what I sort of ended up with. But we have dry thrusters front and aft uh, up and down now as well. And those side dry thrusters, the, uh, the sheer cost of those enormous thrusters were more than enough really to, to max this thing out. Um, the generators required to run them as well also uh, meant that the CPU was pretty much all but maxed out. So um, it's very, very limited at the moment on armaments. But let's have a better view of the vessel here. You can see, those of you familiar with the Ventress, that the bridge section has been completely redone. Um, and it is now a very sleek looking ship. The nacelles are very bare bones. They've uh, basically copied in the principles of the tenacious. They're all pretty much just carbon substrate, carbon fiber nacelles, apart from a few armor blocks around the generators. The front of the ship has also been lightened as well. Most of the hard steel has been stripped back and replaced with steel or carbon substrate with just a few layers. I say a few, it's probably about a dozen layers of combat steel and xeno steel in the nose there. Lots of space for upgrades, extra turrets. As you can see, there's antennas in place where uh, some manual fire weapons may go underneath. There's even more spots for turrets and things like that for them to go. At the moment, we've got a couple of gat turrets and a couple of laser turrets. That is all she has. Oh, and some sentries as well. But we're hoping, I'm hoping to put the uh, quantum CPU cores that we earned from the server events into, into this bird and get her arm to the teeth and also than the tenacious but she is well as you can see quite the size upgrade she's a hefty girl and that does mean that extra thrust extra power which all eats into cpu it's funny the tenacious is um more heavily armed and probably more capable than the ventress in its default state but obviously the tenacious isn't in its default state and it's in its highly upgraded state the Ventress here is very much in just a spawn state, ready for extra CPU extensions, ready for action then after. I've also given it some extra um, drilled lasers on the front, on the nose here. Bit risky, you know, the shields go down in combat. They're probably the first things are destroyed and they're, you know, quite expensive. So we'll try not to lose them, we'll try and look after them, but that does mean that we can do some mining with this thing out and about. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Some of the things you'll you'll find are basically the same. I mean, it is the same ship, just with different nacelle layout and a different bridge, pretty much. Slight changes inside as well to accommodate new upgrades, bigger shield parts and stuff like that. Let's have a look, shall we? So the main hangar bay now has been expanded because the down thrusters, advanced thrusters have been stripped back this part of the hangar used to house two down advanced thrusters. Those are no longer necessary thanks to the drive thrusters. Still, you've got the elevator up into the main SV hangar bay on the deck above. This is the same. Large hangar bay, space for three SVs, two small and one larger SV. A little shelf here, the surge fits on that perfectly. Automatic hangar doors on the top. Top loading hangar bay for the SVs. Then we come to the forward section, we've got armor lockers and repair bays and stuff like that. And we take either an elevator that goes up to the bridge here, and we go through the main corridor here into our production area where we've got constructors, deconstructors, storage, small constructors, 
carry on through and we've got what will become a garden which has also been expanded to accommodate two sets two more sets of nine plots once the plots are obviously down at the moment we've just got trussing now if we continue on this deck we can go around to the left where we've got space for shield capacitors and chargers empty at the moment waiting for more cpu follow it around and we've got our computer core here this is where our main cpu and advanced shield generator lie that is the end of that side. This uh, stairs actually goes up to the side docking um, when the Ventress was part of a sort of bespoke docking fleet that all docked together to form the Megatron or something. It's <laughs> the Megazorg. <laughs> uh, around the other side, we've got the warp drive and engineering access through here. This also goes up into the gravity area where there is another space for a shield charger or capacitor. This is another way up, although it's a bit of a maze, into the upper decks. But we're going to go back round here. Go back the way we came. But I'm going to take myself out of god mode. So we can experience the ship as it is intended. So we've got two ways of going up. We can either take the elevator that was back in the hangar bay, or we can go up these stairs here. And this takes us up onto the mid-deck. So at the front here, we've got crew quarters. We have actually got some alien crew on board. Captain's quarters. This has been rearranged and redone. Same on this side, crew quarters as well. Down left and right sides, we've got identical sh the above the shield capacitor storage area. And then up into this section, we've got sick bay, medical had a slight improvement and expansion and over here we've got the core expansion room where our quantums will go let's remove those consoles and start slotting them in there we're now above the warp drive that was the door we were in before we turned around and over here we can see down into the hangar bay and this is that elevator from the hangar bay lost yet <laughs> We take that elevator up, then we're into the main bridge section here, which has been massively expanded. It is now a much, much bigger bridge space. We have a dual cockpit set up with some great visibility out there. Hopefully that's going to help us aim our bigger guns. And then off to the sides, we've got conference rooms. And a teleporter on a switch. And the back of the bridge, rear exit to the outside. And there we have it. Oh, and that is the detector, long range radar. Another thing that absolutely tanks the CPU. <laughs> so there we have it. We have um, our new ship. She needs to be armed. She needs to have the quantum cores added in. And um, yeah, lots and lots of prep work to get her going. I also need to build her an entire landing pad. Um, that she could park on as well. <laughs> this is going to be our ship We're moving forward now for some time, I suspect. I'm hoping that she, with the Quantum, she will be both combat capable and base and mobile base capable. But there's more than enough room to take a few small vessels and vehicles with us as well, so we should be pretty flexible in doing what we do with this thing. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, she will be on the workshop soon once I've given her a shakedown cruise and worked out any kinks and bugs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, hopefully the wait was worth it. She does have landing gears. I don't know why they've not come down. <laughs> they just haven't. Lots and lots and lots of guns needed on this thing. Adventurous A, refit. Next episode, I will have a set up and ready to go and we can see what she is capable of. I'll get those quantums on board. And we'll add some guns, ammo, and all the trimmings. Let me know what you think. But that is going to be all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.